Hello and welcome to my first ever YouTube video and today I'll be talking about Instax film versus zinc paper. So both are used in instant photography, they're both different technologies. The zinc is pretty much paper that has microcrystals embedded and as it passes through the camera it's heated up and um, the colours correspond to a certain temperature as the crystals melt and that produces the image. In comparison, the Instax film is based on um, the similar, te well, the same technology as the Polaroid cameras. So you have uh, chemicals inside that are light sensitive that when exposed to light produces an image. And as it passes through the camera, the rollers move chemicals in this pouch up through the picture, which fixes the image. And um, after about three minutes, your picture is developed in comparison, the uh, sink, um, it takes, um, I would say, over a minute to print, whereas the Instax comes out your camera straight away. But obviously, you've got an image immediately after printing this. Uh, in terms of quality, um, I would say the Instax wins because the colours are much more vivid. Um, the colours on the uh, zinc are a lot more muted. Um, it feels more like when you like print onto a uh, printer paper, the zinc, whereas the Instax feels more like a real photo. It just has that charm. So personally, I prefer Instax in terms of um, quality. Okay, uh, another big difference is this isn't light sensitive. So you can open the back of the camera and it won't matter because it's pretty much just paper. This is light sensitive, so um, this is one pack, it comes in like a, a plastic tray that holds the film and there's a black slide on top. Uh, you put it into the camera, it kicks out the black slide and from that moment you cannot open the back of the camera otherwise you will waste a whole pack of film. And another problem with this is because it's in a plastic tray, it's about that thick. Uh, the cameras are, thi are thicker and bigger um, because uh, the lenses have to also stick out more to project the image onto the film. So you can see there, get an idea. This is a, a Fujifilm Neo Classic. So this takes the mini film. And obviously as the film gets bigger, the camera gets bigger. I think you also got like the square. You've got the square film and also the wide film. The wide cameras are massive for the Fuji. In stacks. Uh, in comparison, this is a um, sync camera. It's a Sony Mini S. It's a lot more smaller, thinner, uh, fits in your bag a lot more easier. And like I said, you don't have to worry about exposing film, so it just sits in there. It's just like sheets of paper, pretty much. So, yeah, it's a lot more thinner. Uh, this connects to your phone via Bluetooth. I mostly use it as a printer. You can also do the same with Instax. You can either buy um, the printers or, in this case, a um, Instax Mini Lead Play. Uh, that is pretty much a digital camera with a printer attached. So you can connect it to your phone, print from your phone. So these are smaller than obviously the, the analog cameras. But I would say the lens, on uh, the sensor in here isn't that great. Uh, I think it's um, under five megapixels. So um, you may prefer just using that as a printer. So yeah, it made a difference. Price, £21 versus £35 for a, a 50. Um, and also another big difference is the longevity, I would say. So these were printed about eight years ago. Um, this is the larger zinc paper, the the original zinc paper. I don't know if the the newer paper is any better, but um, it's given off a weird smell and there's some discoloration emerging here. Um, these have been kept in an album behind plastic, so I was hope I hope they would have lasted longer, but they haven't. Um, these pictures were taken around the same time eight years ago, and I would say they're as good as the day I took them. Um, I would say they're a lot more stable um, 
and I have every faith in them lasting a lot longer. So when I'm old and grey, I think they'll still be good. Same cannot be said for the sink. Um, I tried looking into how long they say it lasts. Uh, they don't publish you, which makes me think not too long, but um, there was a similar technology, I think by Fujifilm, and uh, it stated 12 years. So who knows? Um, yeah, if you want a photo to last more than a generation, go for the Instax, I would say. And in my opinion, the whole point in instant photography is having a print that lasts. Um, because the problem with digital photos is it's great, it's easy, but you end up taking loads and loads of pictures, you put them on a hard drive, forget about them. Hard drive breaks, you've lost your pictures unless you back them up. Um, the benefits of instant photography is you have a hard copy. Um, and if you've got a hybrid camera, you've also got a digital copy too. Um, so having faith in them lasting, to me personally, is quite important. Um, for that reason, I much prefer the Instax because I feel like they're going to last. Okay. And plus, another benefit of instant photography is you think before you shoot, you take a lot less pictures, but you take better quality pictures because they're thought through. Because obviously it costs you money every time you take a picture. Um, I don't know, 50p um, each time it, it adds up. So it's a lot more considered. So let me know what you think. Um, do you have uh, any old sync pictures? Ha have you found that it's discolored and they smell a bit? Uh, or is it just me? Um, or a, do you prefer Instax? Um, let me know. Um, yeah, so in summary, if you want something slightly cheaper, you're not too bothered about how long it lasts, um, and you want something that easily fits in your bag, go for the zinc. But if you prefer quality and you don't mind paying a bit extra uh, and also it lasts longer, pretty much go for the Instax. Let me know what you think. Okay, thank you for listening and goodbye.